Hello, everybody. Hey, listen to this story, man. Can't believe it. Uh, Loria claims 140 plus million dollar loss on billion dollar sale of the Florida Marlins. Former Florida Marlins owner Jeffrey Loria previously agreed if the team was sold within 10 years of his purchase of the team in 2008, the city of Miami and Miami-Dade County uh, would receive 5% of the profits. Now, Derek Jeter, as you may know, bought the team within that time frame, within that 10 years. So the city and the county get their cut, right? As part of the original deal? Um, no. See, Loria's attorneys say there was no profit on the $1.2 billion sale of the team. Um, excuse me? They say they actually lost over $140 million due to underlying debt, deductions, and taxes tied to the deal. Right. For example, he claimed a $30 million deduction for advisors who helped structure the sale. Other deductions he is rumored to have claimed include $10,000 bath towels with the team logo on them, $19 million in Florida lottery tickets, saying he had a better chance of hitting lotto than a Marlins win, $4 million to build accommodations for the 1,000 paparazzi following Jeter around every day, $10 million to consultants who proposed a merger with the Cleveland Browns. Yes, the Browns, a football team, and moving the combined team to London, England. It's not known what sport they were proposing to play. And finally, $25 million for the construction of a 15-level skybox for his personal use. 15-level skybox. Locals say he likes to sit on the top level and drop eggs on fans below. I, I have no idea.